In today's lesson, you will learn to break a large rectangle into many smaller, same-sized squares. So, my mom and I decided to make brownies to celebrate my birthday. We used this pan that is three inches by four inches. I want to cut this pan of brownies into smaller, square-shaped pieces that are all the same size. Are all these pieces the same size? No, why not? Do you think these two pieces look like they're the same size? No. And are both pieces squares? No. Remember that for a square, all four sides must be the same length. Okay, so are these divided into equal sized square pieces? That's because these pieces are not the same size and neither piece is a square. Remember when we said that the pan was three inches by four inches? Well, let's try this. Why don't we divide the pan of brownies into equal sized square pieces using rows and columns? What's a row? A row is when parts of a shape go across. Here, let me show you. Let's try breaking this brownie pan into three rows or three pieces that go across. One row, two rows, and three rows. This can sometimes get confusing because we only made two long slices, but now there are three long parts, three parts that go across. And remember, we call these rows. Now, let's divide our brownie into columns. What's a column? Columns are parts of a shape that go up and down. Let's divide our brownie into columns. I'm going to put columns on top of the rows that I've already cut into my brownie. I will divide my columns with the color white. We've got one column, two columns, three columns, and four columns. Remember, this is the part where it can get a little tricky. We made only three cuts with the white line, but we have one, two, three, four columns. So remember, we were trying to break our pan of brownies into smaller and equal sized squares? Well, did we do it? Oh yeah. I think that this shape looks like a square and it looks like it's the same size as this other square. Great job. I think that all of these pieces look like squares and they all look like they're the exact same size. Great, now we have to count. How many pieces of brownie do we have now? Let's count together. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. We divided our brownie into twelve equal same sized square pieces. Pretty cool. So let's sum up what we did today. We took a rectangle and divided it into rows and columns. Then we counted how many total squares we had. Great job. Together, we broke a large rectangle into many smaller, same-sized squares. Now that you know how to break a large rectangle into many smaller, square-shaped pieces, you can also break a rectangular pizza into smaller, same-sized pieces. You can also do the same thing with many other foods and shapes in your everyday life. All this talk about brownies and pizza makes me hungry. I'm going to go get a snack. See you later.